Maintain positive pressure under the access floor using the business card test. Place a business card onto a perforated floor tile, and if the card floats above the floor, positive pressure exists. If the card is sucked down onto the tile, then there is negative pressure, or the tile is located too close to the crack unit. If the card blows up into the air, you may have too much pressure and need more perforated floor tiles or slower fan speed. Lack of positive pressure indicates too many perforated tiles or other openings in the floor or not enough crack units. Install perforated floor tiles only as needed, only in front of each occupied cabinet and only in the cold aisle. Do not install perforated floor tiles in front of empty cabinets, in open floor areas, or in the hot aisle either, no matter how hot the air is, as this reduces the efficiency of the crack unit by lowering the return air inlet temperature, making the crack think that the room air is cooler than it really is. Often in existing data centers, cooling problems are resolved by removing up to half of the installed perforated floor tiles. Install perforated floor tiles at least 15 feet from the crack unit to avoid recirculation of cold air without first going through electronics. Install perforated baffles and or solid barriers under floor to guide and control the supply of cold air and do not block off zones with one zone per crack but instead use underfloor barriers to address supply air problems based on design analysis. Perforated barriers are used to balance supply flow rates and pressures so as to maintain good flow rates and pressures to all points in the computer room. Limit the removal of floor tiles for service work. The positive pressure in the underfloor plenum disappears when the floor tiles are removed and airflow to the perforated floor tiles is reduced.